Hello everyone, and welcome back to Reyes, where our wonderful forest titan, the keeper of many wonderful leaves, by the way, is watching over our very first little village of humans. Look at them. They're talking about bananas and flowers, which I absolutely adore. But yes, so we are carrying on with the tutorial to remind ourselves how we, as the heart of this amazing planet, can hopefully carry on with taking care of our new little humans and working with them to discover new things that we can create on the land. Uh, you need your humans in order to have ambassadors and to work with the villages in order to gather different kinds of strengths and then you can upgrade the different plants in order to transmute them into things. It's a lot of fun, I promise. But let's carry on. Learning about villages. Placing plants, animals, or minerals within the village borders will generate resources. Villagers will want to grow by using food, wealth, and technology provided by you. Let's see. Learn about villages. You can keep control to cycle through additional information about what patches are currently producing. Wait, what? I can do that? Oh, this is so cool! So you can see, like, okay, my village is getting 10 out of 10 food. They're happy. Uh, you can see, like, the nature effect, I think, is what this is. And then you can see if they're happy village or not. And I can see how much defense they have, I think. That is interesting. I didn't know that. Learn, uh, the blueberries are providing five food. So the maximum food the village can use is five. And since I put down two, they have ten. The village's resources can be viewed by selecting on the village and looking at the panel. Yes, wonderful, wonderful. You can see how much food is being used by the number uh, before the slash and how much food is available within the borders. Okay, good. Place some fruit plants within the borders and see how it affects the village. All right, so we have a couple already. Let's add another one. You can see in the village panels that two blueberries are generating 10 food. This will eventually lead to 10 food being put into use. Oh, look, and that makes the village grow because it just expanded on this side. And here's our transmutations. So this is a very important part of what Reyes and discovering this planet and helping it to evolve actually entail because you can transmute different plants, animals, and minerals, not the people uh, actually, but everything else. So if we wanted to transmute this little patch of blueberries, we would need to have the lesser leaf aspect unlocked on our titans. Strawberries give more food and awe if they are close to certain other plants. And then every single resource, plant, animal, and mineral that you add into our evolving world acts within an ecosystem, affecting each other. So the strawberries would give even more food next to other kinds of plants, and they would also give awe, which makes them grateful to the titans and less likely to try to attack the titans in the future, and a little less greedy, if I remember correctly. Uh, if they are next to, say, like right here, like if we planted them right here next to the blueberries, that would be an excellent spot. And we could also make apple trees, which give a lot of food if they are next to animals. So we can add animals eventually too. Uh, raise the food in use. The bigger the food different, the difference between the food in use and the food in borders, the faster the food in use will grow. If you see the food in use is above, uh, see if you can raise the food in use above 18 by using the fruit plant ability. I can definitely handle that. All right, there we go. Let's get some more fruit down here. Nice. Now these people are going to start shimmying out. They're going to come over, see what they can do. Uh, we can actually add domestic animals with the ocean titan. So let's go ahead and pull him over. Look at his little crabby legs. Oh, you're so cute. And now the little people are like headed out. They're like, oh, we just eat nothing but blueberries, but that's wonderful. And eventually the villages will even begin to level up and become more complex as well. And the cute little tree at the heart of the village will grow, which I love. That's just like in our Animal Crossing game that I totally need to go back to soon. <laughs> oh, look at them. Now they're talking about apples. One day, little friends. One day. Here, have more blueberries. I'm probably going to need to replace because you have to use each plot can only contain so many things. So eventually I shall probably have to get rid of your blueberries. But for now, my friends, prosper, prosper onwards. All right. I think we're almost there. They're going to be happy ducks. Yay, we did it. Well done. The village is growing and the people are gaining knowledge. They have started building something of their own. Oh, <gasps> my village has 
build a granary, but they need your help. Building on the granary project has allowed the villagers to gain a special a specialization. What? Okay, so specialization, mushroom eaters. Oh, so because they built a granary, these people have learned that if they have uh, minerals within their border, they can get plus 15 food from it. So that would make this these blueberry patches, if we replace those with mushrooms, which I love, then they would actually get 10 more food than if it was just blueberries. Roger. Okay, okay. The granary is complete and an ambassador wants to join us. Yes. Okay. Your giants lack the skill to create minerals, which is true. We have two other giants, the swamp giant and the rock giant, and all of our giants work together to raise different kinds of elements. The plants get planted by our forest giant here, and the animals, the domestic animals, not the wild ones, get put down. Oh, look how happy they are all about their little greenery. That's so cute get put down by the water giant so let's see let's see project objective so we have a project above the specialization tab you will see the project objective did i did i already complete it complete challenge uh oh i must have already done it <laughs> this will be an easy task it seems the ocean ability has now grown strong or the ocean giant has now grown stronger and has gained a new ability use the ocean giant's domestic animal ability in the forest <gasps> How about right smack there? It will take out the blueberries, but I want to see. So we have just raised chickens! Yes! Oh, that makes me happy! And you can actually see how that has changed the effect of the surrounding area. So chickens actually have a range, so they improve the food that can be collected by four in a range of two tiles on each side. But we hit the village over here, so I don't think that they can help out in the village. But the chickens will wander around and improve that quite a bit. That is so cool. All animals have an area of effect. Click on the animals to view the range. So they, they added four food to this and this as well, which means the chickens give us a lot more food than the berries do at this point. Uh, click on the patch of chickens to view their status. Yep, yep, yep. The symbiosis, yes. Also, free range, plus three food if a blueberry is within animal range. So I think they added three food to the blueberry range, maybe? Perhaps? I think? Placing chickens near blueberries will create a symbiosis between the ecosystem for the chickens and allow them to generate more food. All animals, plants, and minerals have separate symbiosis. See if you can complete the symbiosis of the chickens to easily complete the project. Replacing a few blueberries. Okay, I think we already did that. Because we got chickens. We got blueberries. And now we have an ambassador who wants to come join us. Excellent. Because of your positive influence, the villagers have decreed their ambassador to join you. The ambassador wishes to climb up top the shoulders of your giants and increase their strength. Which is so cool. Oh, we're going to get... Hello? <gasps> the rock giant has come to join us! Welcome, Rocky! Alright, the rock giant has re reawoken, but it is in need of a new ability. Select the rock giant, and then we're going to get there! So the rock giant doesn't have an ability now that he's awoken, but he can come and the ambassador actually helps him to unlock those abilities. So let's see what happens. That is so cool! Look at that guy riding on top of his head. Alright, now we have unlocked the Raise Mountain ability. And the Ambassador's Spirit has unlocked new abilities within the Rock Giant, like precious minerals. <gasps> it makes mineral wealth come up from the ground. Alright, so check the villager's specialization, which is actually the Mushroom Eaters. The specializations are improved forms of symbiosis. The specialization allows the village to gain extra food from minerals placed by the rock giant, which is the mushrooms! So place some minerals within the village's border to boost their resources. Be careful not to break any symbiosis. So we, if we put the minerals right over here or here, we would break the symbiosis that we have between the chickens and the blueberries. So let's go ahead and place them over here instead. Oh, my forest giant can't do anything right now. Interesting. Tutorial time. <gasps> so pretty! Oh my 
my gosh, this is so pretty. But you can see we just added some agate mineral over to our village. It is now starting to help them accumulate some wealth and it is helping with the symbiosis of the granary because the granary people are like, hey, there's a bunch of mushrooms that grows in that there agate and they're able to harvest that up. Wonderful. There is still life. The village has grown and has developed since you awoken, but you sense there is still life roaming your surface, hoping for to find a place to settle. Raise a desert of tin patches using the rocks giants raise mountain ability. Be sure this is done as far away from any forest and ocean as possible. <gasps> what? Okay, let's go ahead and put one over here. And all of my other giants are like not able to do anything at the moment. So rock giant, Take your time, buddy. It's gonna be a minute. Let's see how our middle village is doing. Oh, they want pears? Look at that tiny tree. I cannot wait for that tree to grow. They're so cute. And this is a forest village. There's other types of villages you can have. Swamp, desert. Um, I think you can even have an ocean village where the villagers will settle up against an ocean area and they will start like gathering up fish that you can add into the waters. Oh, all right. Our giant's almost there. This is so fun. And very important to do the tutorial before we start getting into the much more complex puzzles that are uh, life here on this planet. There we go. Place some animals in the desert, using the ocean giant's domestic ability or domestic animal ability to place some animals in the largest desert. Make sure there's enough desert for the village to settle on. Heck yes! If a village is not settling, there is not enough space or there are no resources nearby. Noted! Can I add some like precious minerals over here? Because that would be really cool. I'm gonna put some minerals down here while we still have the ability. Can I use my forest giant yet? Oh, forest giant, come over here. You might be needed for putting some plants into the forest. <gasps> Look at that. So as you guys saw, we put agate into the forest, but now we have quartz. Look at the quartz. So the quartz is what is going to be in the ground over here. And it activates symbiosis with five wealth in you. So if we get a village that already has five wealth, then I think it will gain even more. Resonator plus eight tech if next to stone plus eight wealth if next to another quartz. So if we have two quartzes right next to each other, which I kind of want to do like, can I do that right here? Or will it be different if it's in a mountain? There we go. Oh, that's agate now. I think because it's in a mountain. Oh, look at the village. They're coming over next to these kangaroo rats. Oh, they settled right on top of the kangaroo rats. Marvel path is settled. <gasps> That is so cool. And do they have like a new project soon? Hello? Oh, they have a new building. All right. They have a shrine. They like me so much that they want to become uh, worshipers of me. And look at their little village center. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh my gosh, I never noticed that the detail of like a carved uh, dragon sculpture with a big feather behind it. That is fantastic. And they're talking about wealth. They're desert herders, so plus five food for each animal within the border. And uh, let's see, yeah, that's the shrine. Specializations activate when a project starts being built. All right, so what's the project? Hmm, shrine, specialization. So let's get some animals in this here border. And they have a lot of wealth they can actually get right now. Lucky ducks. The kangaroo rats generate one food for each patch in their range. The specialization is providing plus five food for each animal. So now that they have a little shrine, because we have one patch of animals in there, and because the animals also have a, a range, they're getting more food. So that's really cool. It seems this project also requires wealth. Okay, we already added wealth. And we already have 10 wealth. Oons, oons, we're on top of it. Look at the people down in the mine. That is so cute. Minerals can generate far more resources if they are activated. Click on the minerals to view the requirements to be activated. So, activated, activated. Aspect slot, huh? 
Raise the wealth to five in order to activate the quartz. Placing a second quartz may assist you with this. Well, I'm not sure how I did that. Well done, your quartzes are now, oh, that's right, because we talked about, here, this is it. Activate symbiosis when five wealth is in use. So now that we have five wealth in the village, it actually activates something and they become even more wealthy. Let's continue improving the village, uh, improving this village until it can finish its project. So I think it's project. So here we are, the objectives. We want to have uh, 10 food in use. So we're going to need maybe some... Where can I put this? Because their village is so small. I think we're going to have to get rid of the agate. And we're going to add in a plant on top of the mountain and see what happens with our little desert village now. All right. So we remove the agate and we now have kumquats! What? That's so cool. Plus five food, uh, symbiosis taproot, plus eight food, and three awe if next to a plant. So if we can get the kumquats next to another plant, they will provide a ton of food and awe. But all right, so now all we have to do, and if they're even talking about their food, is because over here on the shrine where they have their special projects, <gasps> yes, and we actually have more room to put down another kangaroo rat. Yay! Burrower, plus two food if a mineral is within the animal's range. So actually we could get more food if I put a mineral down. So I added the kangaroo rats thinking that might help with food. Well, plus five food for each. Ah, there's, see, there's so many different combinations you could do. Excellent work. You have performed admirably. The humans have strengthened your core. You have learned about villages, resources, specializations, and symbioses. It is time to slumber once again and hope that the humans will survive until the next era dawns. <gasps> We're on it, you guys! All right, so we can now try to lead the humans in all the different eras called Era Games. And we can also learn about greed, transmutations, and danger in the next third beginning. So I do think that we will go ahead and maybe try the third beginning just so we can learn how the humans can be very greedy and even fight amongst each other. But after that, we are going to pick an era. What you do in the era games is you have a set amount of time to be awake as the planet and take care of your world and have very specific objectives that you are trying to fulfill. And I know my objectives are also going to be unlocking as many of the animals as possible. So it's going to be quite fun. But all right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me. If you could, do please go ahead and leave a like to toss, uh, I guess, some stones and kangaroo rats around like our titans have. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, guys, stay curious. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.